So I was a little bit taken back when I got the call from Libby. Um, people don't set out to volunteer or serve in their community to be recognized. So I was taken back, but also I know a lot of the women that have served in our community and that have been nominated in the past, and I didn't feel like I had made the impact that they had. But I'm very fortunate to have such great women in my life, and I thought it was very kind of them to think of me. She is a um, extraordinary individual who, again, is so giving of her time and is the face and voice of Texas Oncology Foundation in East Texas. The funny thing about volunteering is you think, okay, well, I've got two hours, I'm going to go and knock this out. But um, when you leave, the, you feel so much more full than you did had you not gone. You feel, it's rewarding in and of itself because you've sewn into somebody else's life and into their time and depending on what they're going through or who you're volunteering for, whatever, you know, whatever the case might be, it's, it's very fulfilling. Um, I know for our organization, her fundraising helps a tremendous amount of people in need. Uh, I know also in the spring, she works with Trinity School uh, for Texas and does a lot of fundraising for them. And it's the same energy and the same passion. And um, it, I, I don't know how she gets the energy. I wish I had that. Congratulations, Jennifer T. Jackson. You certainly deserve this award. I've seen you grow over the several years we've been friends and I'm so very proud of you. Jennifer, I'm honored on behalf of all of the children and the adults that you've helped through the years, through your efforts, to congratulate you on this great honor. 